This is about standard deviation, so you can understand what it means when you talk about standard deviation for your science fair projects. Standard deviation is a way of measuring how much spread there is in a data set. So for example, let's say you surveyed everybody in the school and asked them, uh, how many brothers do you have? Now I totally made up this data, okay, but um, let's say on average there was one and a half brothers. Um, this is number of responses you get, and so a lot of people said one brother, a lot of people said two brothers. Um, actually this doesn't really make sense that a lot of people said one and a half. Well, okay, well this uh, analogy is a little lame, but anyway, let's say a lot of people were clustered around here. Not too much variation. A few people had five brothers, maybe ten, but very rare. Now this is the number of pets that people had. Let's say it had the same average, about one and a half pets on average. One pe pet, two pet, but then you know a couple of people had you know a thousand goldfish or, or eight hamsters and soon to be twenty-five hamsters and so you could have a lot of variation. This has more standard deviation than this set. And so this standard deviation measures the spread of the data. Very useful. So how would you find the standard deviation of some numbers? Well, we're going to find it by first finding the average because we want to know how much do these numbers deviate from the average. That's what it means. How much is the standard amount it deviates from the average? And to do that, we need to know that the average um, in statistics is just indicated with a letter X and a line over it, which means X bar. So the average would be, of course, you add them all up and you divide by how many there are. You add them up, you get 50, and you divide by 5 and you get 10. So the average is 10. And now we want to find how much each of these points is different from the average. So we take the individual points and subtract them from the average. Um, so here I am doing that and um, I'm taking, taking each of the data points and subtracting it from the average. This gives me negative 5, negative 5, 0, 0, and 10. And now, um, so what this represents is taking any one individual point, which we indicate with x sub subscript i. Um, don't worry about why that is, it's just that's how they indicate it. But then what we do is we square this difference. We're going to take all of these and square them. So negative 5 squared is 25, and uh, so is the other negative 20 here, 25, 0, 0, and then 10 squared is, of course, 100. So those are the squares. We're squaring them. Now we're going to take the average of these squares. So if you average them, you just add them all up and divide by how many there are. Add this up and you get 150. Divide that by 5 because there's 5 of them and you get 30. The last step is to take the square root of 30 and you get 5.5. The standard deviation of this data set is 5.5. The formula would be take x all of these different data points, subtract it th from the mean, square that, now find the average of all of those. So we would add them all up, that's a big summation sign, and then divide by how many there were. This 1 over n um, is just, the n represents uh, the number of data points, and so how many data points you have? Well, that's n. So when you add them all up, you're summing all of this stuff, and then you divide by how many there are. This summation sign is something you'll learn more about in high school, but just take it from me, this means add, add up all of these things. So you add them all up, divide by how many there are, and then the last step is you take the square root, so mm, square root, and that's the formula for the standard deviation. Um, and so now you know where the formula for standard deviation comes from. It looks like an awful thing, but it's actually not so bad. In the next video, I'll show you how Microsoft Excel can calculate the standard deviation for you, and standard deviation is really useful when you're looking for error and how significant your data is, and I'll show that to you in the next video. So please watch.